What is up, y'all? What is T? I'm your girl Ono, and I am doing a gentleman's panel highlight review. Overall, I thought that it was wonderful. It was fantastic. The energy was high. The energy was good. And I do have a couple of highlights that I would like to discuss. So let's get into it. So the first highlight I'm going to give was on doxing. I want you to hear Jay Wilson's response and how he feels about doxing. Listen to this. Um, you know, I think it becomes a real big problem when the information becomes public and then people start calling and threatening you. And so as a person who's been doxed, when I went to the police station, the police said, you know, I'm more concerned about your safety and people having your information and your number. And so I think that's a big thing. And um, it shouldn't be done. It shouldn't be done. Uh, this public, let it stay public. I didn't even know where people were until they spilled it because I'm really just not interested. If you can't verbally do it here, then don't, don't do it, you know, elsewhere. That's so Holiday basically feels that if you can't do it here on YouTube and get your information based off of what people are putting on their platform, that you shouldn't grab information from anywhere else. However, he is one of the ones who has taken it off of YouTube multiple times. So I found that very interesting. Now, at the 4832 mark, QB gives some really great advice and if you're a content creator, I suggest you go back to the gentleman's panel, go to the 4832 mark and listen to the ways that you can prevent yourself from being doxxed. Now, around the 5511 mark, QI Critical Thinking comes on. And she's giving basically her history of what sector she came from, which is the conscious community, the previous school that she went to, what her purpose is here on YouTube. Now, I knew that it was coming. I just didn't know who it was going to come from. And quite frankly, I thought that it would be someone that called in and not someone on the panel who brought up VS's name. No, Holiday did. Okay. Why Holiday did it, I do not know. And the question that he asked was really far fetched. Listen to this. Do you, mind, do you feel that you were in a situation of that um, during that time you was with VS? Because a lot of people were just absolutely cringing during that whole situation. How do you feel about that? Now, QI was a little hesitant to answer this question, and quite frankly, I don't blame her. No one else on that panel was being messy and felt the need to bring up her previous relationship and what it was all about and if it was based on a form of abuse or not. I think that was overstepping his boundaries, crossing the line, and pushing the limit, and he knew exactly what he was doing. So if he gets cussed the fuck out after this, so be it. He deserves it for that one. At the 5520 mark, something very interesting happens. Deshaun cuts QI critical thinking off mid-sentence, and he's like, you know what? I don't think she even wants to speak on that. Holiday goes, ah, 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 ah. I wasn't talking to you. It's not for you to answer. It's for her to answer. Go on, QI. He basically the fuck tried it, and the comments section felt the same as I. You see what I'm saying? Holiday has a very demeaning tone and he feels as though he's a big eye and everyone else around him is a little you and he can talk to them like they're fucking children. If you're curious about what QI's response was and what she had to say as far as her relationship goes, you're going to have to go back over there to the gentleman's panel and get it. Now, there were multiple times on the gentleman's panel last night where Holiday decided that he was going to pull out the chapstick and start rubbing shit all over his lips talking about some, Hey, y'all! He was basically emulating and imitating. And quite frankly, I thought it was really unnecessary. I didn't think it was very funny or amusing because it's tired at this point. You've done it before. We've seen it. We're over it. 
Now, this is where you can kind of see where people's maturity level is because he felt the need to sit up here and say something about someone else and imitate them. But it was quite frankly really unnecessary and really uncalled for. He is not the only gentleman on this panel that has an issue with Tracy last night, but he was the only one who tried to bring up her name and no one else even entertained it. As a matter of fact, a few seconds after this, Deshaun left <laughs> after being disrespected and seeing someone being made fun of by a grown ass old ass man I guess he figured look I've had enough I see what you're doing and I'm not going to be a part of it not like this so he basically dipped the fuck out so a little bit after Lady Snoop called in and she was added to the platform in the panel as well now, what she's doing is a no-doxing campaign, and I'm all for it. She's basically all the way anti-doxing. Quite frankly, I think everyone should be. She said that, look, no matter what you're going through on here, how deep it gets, you have no right to dox anyone else or their family or involve them on the shit that's going on on YouTube, and I couldn't agree more. Doxing is basically a sign of weakness. Doxing is weakness. That's like being in a fist fight and because you're getting your ass whooped, you go grab a gun. If you can't handle what you're doing, take yourself completely out of that equation. It's that simple. It doesn't have to get personal. And I will say this. I do believe in tit-for-tat doxing. You do me, I do you type shit. Because sometimes people gotta pull a you on you to see how shit feels. Next up, at the 1 hour 20 minute mark, the discussion of streaming people's lives. And I had no idea that people felt so strongly about this. QB stated, when you are doing your content and you're on a live, Please stop streaming their lives without people's permission. How do I feel about it? I think it has its pros and its cons. And it depends on the content creator's intentions, if you will. Okay? The pro is, is that people who don't know you, never heard of you, or don't really tune into your content can actually have a chance to hear it. And they might say, well, you know what? Let me go subscribe to them or let me go subscribe to them again because it seems like they have a point of view that, you know, I'm very interested in hearing, you know, so it is a good opportunity for you to expand yourself, but also it kind of takes away from your platform because it's not being tuned in on your platform. It's being tuned in on someone else's, meaning they get the click in the view for you doing the work, you know, so... Some people consider it stealing. Some people consider it malicious. Some people consider it as lazy because, you know, you're not doing your own content. Um, like I said, it depends on the person's intentions. It's bittersweet. Let me know how y'all feel about that. Very curious to know. So a caller calls in and she asks the question if the panel thinks that Heidi and Tracy are a nuisance. Holiday gives the response and says, as long as they keep it on YouTube, I'm good with that. Just keep it on YouTube and we ain't got no problem. But later on on the YouTube streets and not that much later, it was said that Holiday made a fucking threat towards S. Hutchinson. And I didn't have a chance to hear it for myself. I'm guessing that it's been removed or I just don't know where the fuck to find it. But a threat is a threat. I don't care if this man was just playing, if he said it in a humorous way, if he said it jokingly. It doesn't matter. He was talking about coming to Washington, D.C. to lay hands on somebody. Now, last night, I noticed that he was on one. In fact, he was the only gentleman on this panel that was showing his complete 
ass trying to be the center of focus and center of attention as usual. It's very clear to see that this man has an issue. You can tell that he's the type of person that does not get that much attention, so he feels the need to out-talk everyone, outdo everyone in order to be noticed. And I find that most people that do do this as children, they were not shown that much attention, they weren't shown that much affection, and they really didn't have a chance to be heard. So they think that over-talking and outdoing everyone else is the way to get attention. It actually makes you look like a fucking nuisance, and it makes you look really immature and actually really needy. It was very embarrassing, and it was very lowbrow. I did have a chance to hear S. Hutchison's response to what he had to say, and she was really pissed off, rightfully so. And I said this earlier in the week and earlier in this upload as well. That shows lack of control. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, and I know some of y'all have noticed this. It's almost as if ever since the Labor Day event, somebody has been fucking on one. I'm talking about feeling your motherfucking self. That's the real tea. It seems like you have adopted someone else's fucking personality ever since the motherfuckers was at your house. Given all that motherfucking slight hand performance, coming for the girls, just trying it left, right, left. Sit your ass down, Holiday. Where's Wanda? Where's Nikki? Where's Silas? Where's Blue? Where's Fisher? Overall, I think the gentleman's panel was actually really good, really entertaining, and really informative this week. Other than that extra one that was on there, being all extra and shit, I thought it was fantastic. It got a chance to give a word that people actually needed to hear. This was some news that you could really use. As I said, please go back to the time mark in the beginning that I spoke on where QB is giving advice on how not to be doxxed. Also, check into Lady Snoop as far as to find out more information on this doxing campaign, anti-doxing campaign. I am more than sure that I will be back on here later today. I'm looking at my fucking community feed and it is jumping. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> and congratulations and kudos to all the motherfuckers that don't have shit to do with this drama, but they sitting back eating their motherfucking air popcorn and watching this shit. Don't forget about that double good. You don't have to eat that air popcorn. You can get that real shit, all right? So, to everyone out there, I hope you all enjoy your day. Have a great Sunday. Do not spend too much time on here. Get yourself out there. Take a walk. Go get some fresh air, some ice cream, a Slurpee, an outing, something. To all of my new subscribers as well as old, I love you guys and I thank you and I appreciate you. I am extremely humble and I will see you all later on today. And as always, if you like what I'm kicking out, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as promised, I will be back later on today.